What's up everyone, Art with Overtake. Today we're talking about a new product, the Overtake STI Top Mount Intercooler Coupler Kit. If you've ever worked on an EJ turbo engine in a Subaru, you should know the layout of the intercooler. Up front, you have a coupler that connects the intercooler itself to the throttle body, and behind, a white pipe kit that connects the turbo. Now, the trouble with those components, the stock ones tend to wear out, and with time, you want to switch them up, upgrade them to something aftermarket. Or in a car like this, you might be upgrading to an STI top mount intercooler, in which case it's necessary to replace to an aftermarket hose. So what we're going to do is show off the two variations that we have. Here are your two options. The black and the red kit. I'm gonna unbox the red one and then we're gonna install the black one in the car. You'll see a package by card with whoever put this together, some packaging materials, and of course, the top mount coupler kit itself. You're gonna have the elbow for the Y pipe and the throttle body along with a selection of clamps to install these. Before we go over there, take the top mount off and install these, I wanna talk about them for a little bit. Now this looks like a simple kit, but there's actually a lot of engineering that goes into this. Our engineers have installed dozens of these, so they've got an idea of what the aftermarket shortcomings are. Now, in these, we fixed all of the issues. So with the throttle body kit, we've deliberately sized it for an easy install. It's five-ply fiber reinforced, just like the 90-degree elbow. So it gives it enough flex, again, for an easier install, and you're not gonna have headaches putting it in. It's also gonna last a long time because this silicone is heat resistant. So all the heat you're gonna be seeing generated by the turbo isn't gonna affect this over time like it does with an OEM piece. Now, the party piece of the 90 degree is that not only is it five ply fiber reinforced, but it also has a metal wire going through the whole thing, which makes it more rigid than other aftermarket kits. That makes for an easier install as well. So all of this kind of packages to be the best kit on the market. Next up for me is to grab a couple tools and then get this intercooler off. Now we're not gonna do a step-by-step -step removal on this, but we will put a couple links down in the description below because these tend to be specific towards different models. I'm gonna get this off, get it on our table, and install one of these coupler kits. Before I throw these two pieces on, let's talk about fitment. Now these are designed to work with 04 to 21 STIs, 06 to 08 Forster XTs, and 06 to 07 WRXs. But there's such a variety of mixing and matching with different turbochargers, intercoolers. Really, if you've got an STI intercooler on your EJ engine, these should work with that. And one of the big things that we did is made sure that this is deliberately longer. That way it's gonna work with that variety of turbos. Whether you're using any number of OEM or aftermarket, you're gonna be able to trim this to fit. This STI intercooler still has its factory 90 degree hose and you can see how much smaller this is. That is deliberate so you can cut from this side. Now my advice is to keep this side intact, put it on the white pipe and then go and test fit this and just take little amounts off. You don't wanna to go too far, otherwise it might not be useful. You're gonna to have to order a second one from us. So I'm gonna go test fit this in the car and then start cutting a little bit off at a time. One of the suggestions I can make while doing this is use one of the supplied clamps as a guide to cut. That's gonna be a much straighter cut than just freehanding it or using a piece of tape. The other thing I wanna note is this setup has an aftermarket turbo and we're using an intercooler that wasn't factory with this car. So don't base your cut off of this. This is just what works for our specific setup. We're all done with our cut and did a quick test fit on the car. Everything is fine on our setup. Now your setup is gonna be a little bit different, but you guys took it out, so we have the confidence that you can put it back in. My one recommendation is while everything is apart, switch out the gaskets on the inlet side and the bypass valve side, and luckily we do make those. I'm gonna put a link for those up here. The only other decision you need to make is whether you're gonna buy the red or the black kit. We're gonna put a link for both down in the description so you can check them out and order them up. Now the other thing that we need you to do is like this video, subscribe to our YouTube page, and check out all our social medias at Overtake USA. Thank you guys for watching this one. We'll see you in the next one.